Okay, folks, today we're going to take a look at multiplying mixed numbers. These special problems involve simplifying, cross-canceling, and or factoring out. The first thing we need to do, we have 2 and 3 fourths times 3 and 1 fifth. We need to convert our mixed numbers, 2 and 3 fourths, and 3 and 1 fifth, into improper fractions. So, you can multiply the whole number times the denominator, so 2 times 4, and then add the numerator, 3. So I have 8 plus 3, which is equal to 11. And that will be 11 fourths. And now, I'm going to do the same thing for my other number. I'm going to take the whole number times the denominator, and then I'm going to add the numerator. So, 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16, and we keep the denominator the same, 16 fifths. Now we need to go about the next step, which is to simplify, or cross-cancel, or factor out. And basically, what I'm doing is, if I could simplify 16 over 4, and say, I'm going to divide by 4 over 4, and this would be equal to uh, 4 over 1, or 4 wholes, then I can do the same thing when I'm multiplying in my uh, problem here. So I have 11 fourths times 16 fifths. You can see the 16 is in the numerator and the 4 is in the denominator. So I'm going to divide or factor out a 4 from the denominator and make this a 1. So I took 4 divided by 4 and then I'm going to do the same to the top. I'm going to divide by 4 so this becomes a 4. That's how you factor or cross cancel or simplify in a mixed number situation. Then I can multiply my numerators. 11 times 4 is 44. And I can multiply my denominators and I get 44 fifths. Now this problem isn't complete yet because we're left with an improper fraction. So the next step is to take 44 divided by 5 because that's what the fraction 44 over 5 actually means or 44 fifths. 5 goes into 44 again 8 times excuse me I should have 44 divided by 5 and it goes into 44 8 times and I'm left with 4. The remainder is now my numerator and the denominator is the divisor in my problem. So I have 8 and 4 fifths as my final answer. That is how you multiply mixed numbers when using simplifying or cross-canceling before you actually multiply the numbers. Oh, I hope this helped you out. See ya!